All right, gang. All right, gang. Here we go. Received a package in the mail tonight. It was uh, sent by FedEx uh, from Emanuele from the Vento Nuovo uh, game company. And what this is is a prototype. And because I like to live on the edge, uh, I've literally just pulled this out of the bag. And there's the, the stickers for it. Um, when I first opened this box up, all these pieces were jammed down in here like this. And the only bit, the only counters, the only blocks I could see was this bag of uh, blocks here hanging out the end. And there was no uh, uh, plastic close uh, uh, a lid on the container and I thought all the all the blocks had fallen out and so I took a picture and I sent it to uh, to him uh, and said hey where are all my damn blocks this is ridiculous so uh, I thought that was very funny but they were in here so it's all good now so we're gonna have a look at this I have not seen the physical game or held it in my hands. I've seen pictures of the map. And I've shown you some pictures of the map and I've shown you some uh, pictures of some of the earlier draft artwork and stuff like that. But we haven't actually had a, a look at what the game might look like in the future. And there's a couple of caveats with that. And hang on just one second, I gotta do something. Right, so so let's, uh, let's, let's have a look at this thing and uh, see what the deal is. And I'll tell you a couple of things that I do know about how the game is going to be sold. It's obviously not going to come in a tube and be wrapped up like this. Um, yeah, all right, let's, well, let's see. So let's uh, make sure we get this up the right way. Some more counters Come over there. And it's over here. And this is just a paper map. It's not the final product. The I think the the plan. Wow. Look at, oh, That looks pretty cool. Um, let's have a look at the geography. Well, okay, so let me tell you what we're looking at. So this is the gameplay test map, play test map. And uh, it's uh, on a fairly you know, medium heavy stock, no shine to it or sheen to it or anything like that. My understanding is that there will be two versions of the game. Um, the first version of the game will be, uh, it's called Waterloo 200. Uh, the first version of the game will be the standard edition, just like they have with blocks in the East, blocks in the West, blocks in Africa. Uh, and it will comprise a paper map, probably similar to the maps from blocks in the East. If you remember that, it was that uh, thick, kind of canvassy, uh, textured, uh, coated, uh, waterproofed. I think it'll be that type of, of uh, material, which is fantastic because that means that dumbasses like me won't spill, if I do spill this, it won't uh, make a mess. It won't hurt anything. And of course it'll have uh, the blocks and it will have the uh, PVC stickers. PVC, uh, PVC stickers are really nice too. They, you can actually uh, put them on and then pull them off and put them on a different block if you need to. They're, they'll they'll have that uh, uh, ability to be put on and taken off a couple of times um, once they're once they're uh, you know, once they've been attached. There's some information blocks. There's a little disc here that you pass initiative control uh, with, and there's the, uh, the British or the Allies. So this is so now let's look at the so that's that's what the, that's the standard edition, and then the uh, the cool interesting thing will be that. The deluxe or whatever he calls it, uh, limited edition, will be, excuse me, will be, uh, <coughs> golly, <coughs> excuse me, will be a mounted map. So it'll be a folding mounted map. And I think that will be pretty special. Now, how much is all that going to cost is my question. And that, and uh, the answer I got to that was somewhere depending on what you, you know what what you order and what you buy and what you uh, which version you take 
somewhere between 60 euros and you know maybe as high as 80 euros which would be 63 dollars to 85 dollars thereabouts um, and then that's an interesting contrast when we look at the the work and effort that's gone into this map and I'll talk a little bit about some of the features of the map in a second that I'm aware of because I, I have a copy of the rules and I've read them but um, uh, we, I, I've had to, I struck a couple of issues that I wanted to clear up uh, and there's a significant number of blocks probably a hundred or more blocks thereabouts uh, interesting contrast in cost uh, for a Kickstarter program that uh, the whole fast guys did with their $60 retail. This will be 63, maybe 74, 75 at the cheapest shipped from Europe, right? Uh, that and and these these blocks have, I've I've used these before. They're fantastic. They're really nice uh, uh, tactile feel to them. Okay, let's look at this map. So uh, Waterloo, right? Uh, Mont Saint Jean is here. And we come on down to the gravel pits and La Haye Saint, and uh, there's the chateau here. And these these uh, different coloured circles and shields represent the defensive value uh, of the uh, terrain that we're involved in. So obviously fives are. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in for you. Fives are better than zeros, that much is obvious. And these are, these are the zone or area numbers. And this is the, uh, the setup lines. And you've got these uh, sunken roads here that have a unique uh, attributes to them. Uh, and you can see this is also, this is for, these are for setup, but also they, they form another, they perform another function as well. Um, We're not going to talk about that right now because I want to just look at the have a look at the components in the map, and then you know the Prussians are going to come in over here, and we'll uh, over here actually on turn, start coming on turn three. Let's have a look at the information tracks as well. We've got this uh, uh, morale track for each side, so there's the French morale track, and uh, we start from high and go to low. And uh, you know I'd suggested that they actually. Um, Maybe change the uh, the attitude of the numbers here. Switch these around so that it's facing into the map rather than facing out. That's facing the wrong way, as far as I'm concerned. And you've got the British morale over here as well. Uh, victory is determined by either killing Napoleon or Wellington, or uh, destroying what amounts to ten units. Uh, that's how you'll determine the level of victory that is achieved. Reinforcements over here I mentioned. So it's a really, really uh, quite pretty map, um, I must say. I'm pretty impressed with the with the artwork and the style of the artwork as well. I think kind of blends well the font. I've uh, got this little shadowing action going on here. And these elevation numbers, just to give you a feel for what's what and what's what and you know what's where, right? Uh, oh, you know what? These numbers, these numbers. Um, no, that's right. No, those numbers are the uh, are the the area numbers, and then these are elevation numbers here. And there's a line of sight feature in the game that is handled uh, very simply and I mentioned the sunken roads up over here anyway that's just a, a quick look at the the game I haven't uh, obviously haven't put the stickers on it I guess we should show you the stickers out. let's take them out of the bag and have a look at them uh, I was taking a bit of a gamble with this because I you know I was kind of excited for uh, Manuele to make this game it's only going to have six pages of rules and uh, and I think it could be a, a game that will have a you know, fairly significant volumes if he does it uh, does it right. You know, this is going to have. I, I like the feel of these counters already. They feel nice and they look really good physically. When I'm looking at them, they look great. Um, there's Wellington there, and that's for the initiative count, and initiative disc, as is that. So there you have it. Uh, it's a interesting. Division level 
game. Uh, we'll talk more about it once I play it and uh, once I get a few questions answered about the rules. The rules are going through probably their second iteration. I think they're probably going to need a good three or four uh, more runs through to really uh, tighten up the language from the translation from Italian to English and, and derive the correct intent. And, I, and, I, and because it's a short rule set, everything needs to be more exact than perhaps his other titles. Uh, so anyway, there you have it. We'll talk to you soon. I'll let you know what it's like.